All right, we just passed under the cantilever after going through Lehigh Gap. I know that's a view you guys have seen many, many times now. Um, but we're seeing it again now in the snow. Um, and I was talking about Strasburg. There's a lot to do out in Strasburg. Strasburg's out near Lancaster. It's a little bit, uh, I believe it's, it's either southeast or southwest of Lancaster. I think it's southeast. Um, we used to go out there a lot when I was a kid. There's the passenger train you can ride. We used to ride in the uh, open-sided cars out to the picnic grove, have our picnic, uh, catch the next train back. Uh, there's a toy train museum out there. There's an actual real train museum out there. Uh, there's a lot of train, a lot of train stuff. There's the Red Caboose Motel, which I do remember staying at a couple times as a kid. Uh, as the name implies, it's literally a bunch of old cabooses strung together, converted into hotel rooms. It's really cool. Uh, I have found, you know, I've been keeping an eye on that the last couple of years, though. If you go on popular weekends, it's not only very expensive, but it's actually hard to, to get a caboose. They tend to sell out pretty quick, so we'll see if I'm able to do that or not. Uh, but one way or another, I am going to go back out to Strasburg for a weekend, kind of relive my youth a bit. Um... And there's a ton of other train stuff in Pennsylvania. I mean, that's that's by no means all of it. But uh, those are really, you know, to me, the big ones. That's what I want to hit up this year. We're still waiting for the verdict as to whether the Lehigh uh, Gorge Scenic Railway will be able to resolve their differences with Jim Thorpe, the borough of Jim Thorpe, to see if they're ever going to resume operation or not. Uh, last I heard, they're not even going to resume talks until... You know, sometime late winter, early spring. So that's still an unknown as far as I'm concerned. You know, I did my videos up there. That shut down. There's a lot of other small train stuff in Pennsylvania. Trust me, I can, I can keep busy. <laughs> this channel will be more than trains, obviously. But um, I do want to focus on that. So anyway, long story short, 2020. You're going to see more trains. And I do want to start riding the trails. And, um, you know, our trails here are very scenic. In fact, most of them are built on old rail beds. So you get to see what the train engineers used to see many years ago. So shifting gears a little bit, we are on 248. Uh, we're kind of heading back the way we came. I'm probably going to keep rambling beyond crossing Blue Mountain Drive. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay on 248 a little longer. 248 beyond... Um, a fair bit beyond, quite a few miles beyond Blue Mountain Drive was closed for the better part of last year for some bridge replacements. I believe those are done and open now. Um, I'm going to just go check them out. I don't drive that portion of 248 often. There's not really a reason to. But um, it's a beautiful day. Let's keep driving a little bit, do a little more filming. And uh, if you've stuck with me this far, thank you. I'm entertaining myself at this point. I don't know if anyone else is going to be tuned in, but uh, I just I need some fresh air and sunshine. Ah, so what else is going on? I'm uh, <laughs> actually by doing this, I'm procrastinating. I've got uh, three graphic design projects I've been doing on the side. Uh, that's an area I've been venturing into more. I know I haven't talked a lot about it yet. Uh, one of those projects I'm going to be spending the rest of the day working on. Uh, the deadline's kind of drawing near on that one. So, I mean, you're not going to see this video, honestly. You're not going to see it for a week or two. Because it's going to take me time to edit it. And my priority does have to be that graphic design project. So if you're watching this video, that means that project's done. And I'll talk more about that after it's finished. Um... The other thing that could render this whole video null and void is I actually don't know how this camera is going to work. Um, obviously, we have a lot of brightness with the snow. I've never filmed in the snow before, at least not with the sun out. Um, I hope I hope this is not getting overexposed. If this is getting overexposed, well, then the whole thing's for nothing, and you'll never see it anyway. You'll never know. So anyway, getting back to what is going on with me, um, I've been, uh, you know, kind of, kind of floundering around a bit career-wise, trying to find a new direction. Um, I've mentioned before I'm looking for work. Uh, I also have a side business I started two years ago. That's been 
you know, I'm trying to point that in a new direction too. Uh, I don't want to talk too much about that yet because I'm still finding my way with it, but let's just say this graphic design stuff is part of it. Um, I am taking some graphic design classes online this year. I'm not going for a degree or anything. I did the degree a couple years ago in IT, and uh, that kind of study when you have a full-time job is pretty intensive, so I'm just taking some, uh, you know, low-key, just learn the software kind of stuff. Um, but along with that, interestingly, because I'm learning the, uh, the Adobe Creative Cloud suite of projects, which is, uh, programs, which is Photoshop, mainly Photoshop and Illustrator, those are the ones that most people know. Uh, I also want to work with InDesign, but that subscription also includes, um, some much higher end video editing software, Adobe Premiere and Adobe After Effects, uh, which is basically professional grade video editing and, you recall at the beginning of this drive, I said, you know, a while ago I didn't want anything to do with video editing. Now I want to dive into the high-end stuff. Uh, and I also have another video editor, uh, which I bought just before the Adobe stuff, uh, Corel's Visual Studio. Uh, I, I installed both of them literally just last night. <laughs> um, I haven't touched them yet. I've been doing all of my editing on iMovie, which comes with the Mac operating system. It's a fairly easy to use program, even if it's not the most intuitive thing Apple's ever put out. It's uh, it's easy enough, it's capable enough, but sometimes I want to do something and, and I run up against limits of it and it won't let me do it. So hopefully this newer software is going to give me more options. Uh, so I'm, you know, kind of on the learning curve of some things here. And hold on, i got to slow down something's going on up here. Hold on. Alright, looks like a small pickup truck ran off the road. Hopefully everybody's okay. It doesn't look serious. Um, so yeah, I got, uh, you know, this Adobe suite of creative, that The Adobe creative cloud suite of products. There's a lot of stuff in there, and it's it's all professional grade, but there's a learning curve to go with it. But um, career-wise, that's going to be a big focal point for me this year. I put the IT stuff a little bit off to the side, uh, just because I've been kind of at it for a couple of years and not getting a lot of traction. And, uh, you know, to be perfectly honest with you, I, I, last year I started diving into the creative stuff more, and it's it's really reignited my passion to create, um, and by that I mean writing, art, video, um, you know, stuff that you tell yourself, well, gee, I can't make a living at it, but, you know, in the modern age we live in, I think, uh, I think there's some possibilities, and I'm not sure exactly what they are yet, but, you know, with the internet, there's a lot you can do, and, uh, just right now I'm really enjoying it, so... You know, I'm going to go with that. The IT's not going anywhere. I, I kind of need a break from it. And um, I can revisit that later. So we are entering now Pennsville. I know you've seen this from the opposite direction in another video. I think now I kind of am running out of things to say a little bit. Um, I'm just going to go a little bit further, check out those new bridges just mainly for my own satisfaction, but I'll just wrap this up with saying, you know, I, I really, um, really enjoyed running this channel in 2019. I really thank everybody for their support. Um, you know, as of this morning, I have 38 subscribers. I appreciate every single one of you. A lot of you I know personally, either from real life or I've gotten to know you, um, through your channel, through your visiting my channel. Um, that's been one of the biggest surprises of YouTube is that, you know, you can actually build a small community on it. And, uh, you know, I know a couple of us, we've, you know, we've got that going. You know, there's a number of channels we all go to and frequent, and I really enjoy that. And, um, like I said, I'm going to just keep doing more of the same in 2020. Uh, this is working for me. There's no reason to stop. 
I'm enjoying creating the videos. I hope you're enjoying watching them. This beautiful scenery here never ends. Um, you know, when I get a little bit more time and we get into the better weather, I'll start taking you, you know, a little further outside the circles of my usual stuff. Um, you know, so I'm just looking forward to more of the same for 2020. I'm just going to keep growing this channel. I'm going to post, hey, whatever strikes my fancy on any given day. Uh, you guys kind of know the stuff I like by now. And um, we're coming up here. I think this stretch here, you know, when I say bridges, new bridges, these aren't going to be anything spectacular. These are just little concrete bridges over creeks. You're not even going to really be aware that we're on a bridge. It's not like the one I did in Northampton, the video. Um, not even exactly sure what was replaced here. I know there were two little bridges right in this little area. I think we just crossed one. And okay, here would be the other. This little guardrail here goes over a bridge. So okay, if you stuck with me this far, thank you. I know this kind of trailed off here, but... Um, I'll get this edited, I'll get this posted, and, uh, you know, thank you for everybody's support, and, uh, let's look forward to more of the same in 2020. So, Happy New Year to everybody. Let me know what your plans for the year are. That might be, actually, come to think of it, that bridge we just crossed might be, uh, one of the new ones. I'm not sure. Alright, well, thank you for your support. You know, if you got anything exciting coming up in 2020, let me know, and, um, you know, I enjoy a lot of your channels, too. I'll keep in touch with everybody, and, you know, we'll see where we end up this time next year. Thank you again.